how to get the larvae. I absolutely need this protein. All right. One man and one woman for 21 days. Do they have the skill and the will to overcome the most brutal survival challenge of their lives? Please do not tell me I just got poisoned. Don't circle over me. I'm not dead yet. I've been into survival in one capacity or another for at least 20 years. I build lean-tos, small shelters, catch snakes, and snapping turtles. I was raised in a very dysfunctional, turbulent household. My mother didn't turn on the hot water heater, and she chose to use roadkill instead of regular food from the store. Then I had to rely on myself, which is why I lived in the woods foraging for food, playing with fish and animals, and building campsites. I hold myself to higher standards because I know how strong I was as a little girl. And now I want to know that I'm just as strong as a grown woman. I'm very confident that I'll be able to survive 21 days because it's just 21 days, it's just bugs, and I'm smarter than all of them. I got my PhD in health-related sciences. And we're off. It is hot as hell. Hey! Y'all good? I have to bust my ass and get to you. You're the partner. Good. Yep. How are you? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. Ready to do this? I am. What's right. your name? Suzanne. Anthony. Anthony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Suzanne and Anthony have each brought one survival item. So I brought a knife. Oh, excellent. Man. I have our bug net to keep us safe Fantastic. at night. They've also been given a fire starter. It's an absolute necessity out yes, here. Yes, it is. And its shoreline is home to the region's most vicious wildlife and one of the world's deadliest vipers, the Fer de Lance. Its venom can kill a man in a matter of hours. In the trees are swarms of wasps that sting their victims repeatedly and can send them into anaphylactic shock. But the extreme temperatures are one of the greatest threats out here. Due to the desert climate, they can soar above 100 degrees during the day and plummet into the low 50s at night. What's your background as far as survival stuff? I've been camping before. <laughs> what about you? Um, then working with search and rescue. Oh, cool. My first impression of my partner is I think he's used to being in charge, which is fine as long as he doesn't try to diminish my role or try to assume that he's in charge of me, because this is really a team thing. I suggest we protect our skin. Yeah. Now, before Seaweed. we start doing anything else, yeah. Seaweed and sand. Oh, yeah. Here, let me get your back. You burn easy, don't you? Yeah. That seaweed and sand mixed together becomes a spa treatment. People would pay money for. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your neck. Kind of need to do your head, too. I got to protect your head, too. Sorry. You were I not think, getting heat exhaustion you're just on my fun watch. Now. <laughs> your ears. There you go. No way. All right. All right. All right. Ah. They look lovely. Perfect. Now we're ready um. to work. Okay. Ooh, big palm fronds. This is really protected, completely in the shade. Perfect. We can make the bed this high. Order, Scout. Got firewood. That works. Did you check this tree for bees? Nope. That might be a bee nest. Your forces are under attack. Ow, ow, ow. Wasp. Ow. I don't know that we should have our shelter there. Ow, and there's another one in my hair. Yeah, those look like wasp. All right, so where do you want to go? So we thought we found a shelter out in the woods. It's shaded, but wasp. 
and ran us out of our home. We spent a lot of time on this, so we really have to prioritize, or it's gonna be dark. I think we're better off by the water. It's gonna be dark quick, very quick. Oh, you got it going. Awesome. Susanna, get over here. Oh my God, it is totally a fertile ant. Do not get bit. Oh my God. Holy crap, it's curled up in the center. Anthony, they have a long strike. Down. One, two, three. Yay! I like my steak rare, but I like my snakes. Well done. Fertile ant, it's not just any snake. Cheers. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so cold. But, um... We're in winter time here. The temperatures drop crazy out here at night. Yeah, it was cold, but we didn't have any bugs while we were sleeping. That's and, true. Um, that was good. So we're gonna have to find something that works better than this. I know it's dry season. I know that we're not getting any rain. The shelter is just not important to me. Okay. All we need is some firewood and we'll be better. And I want to continue to eat. I would like to make some fish traps and worry about food. We just got a snake last night to eat. So my plan is shelter absolutely first. In order to prioritize tasks, the both team members need to be on the same page. And currently, we're not. Oh, it sucks about where we're at right now. It's during the day with one wanting to sleep at the hottest point of the day, we're gonna be baking. There's absolutely no shade. A good shelter is very important. She doesn't believe so, but I do. She's very independent. I believe that he thought we would have a really awesome shelter. And the concept that we're sleeping on the ground is not acceptable to him, even though it feels fine. <laughs> because it's so pristine, and I know there's no humans around, there's no big livestock around, and it's running through all these rocks, I'm not worried about it. Um, and it's really hot, but this is a cool spot. I'm gonna make a fish basket and then a cap that goes in it. So they are encouraged to go in, and for whatever reason, they don't swim backwards back out. I'm hoping. I want to know that Anthony is making good decisions because we need to get through together as a team. Down here, there's a big flat green patch in between three trees, close to the water, out of the sun, but it's not very pretty. Susanna likes pretty. She's going to hate it. Almost there? No. So far, you have not convinced me on this spot. Ah, we are here. This flat clearing takes us off the beach. It's shaded, so we're not baking. I can use the trees. I, I actually prefer where we were. I feel like there's going to be more bug problem here than all these bugs that are around us right now. Mm. Susanna, she's headstrong. I knew she wasn't going to be a fan of this place. It is the smarter option. Yeah, but what do I know? Here's the point. I still have a up shelter sleeping on a cold ground. Do I know ground's conductive and taking all of my body heat? Yeah, because I'm actually warmer now than I was laying down. we got to get serious about this. Right now, this is Amateur hour. Orders, Captain? We've got to get a lot of firewood. Your back is directly in the sun. I can tell the sun is getting really hot. Agreed. This is a heap of firewood, so this is a couple of nights fire. I can get through this. Are you pretty dead set on getting that one? 
I can't stress how important firewood is going to be. OK, well, I'll gather some of the fallen logs. OK. I'm really concerned right now because he already has sunburn, and he wants to bring this really large log back for firewood. But I think putting himself in the sun and risking further sunburn, at the same time, he's exerting a lot of energy to cut through it. I just don't see how that thing's going to get cut in any short amount of time. So far through this thing, it's just not giving any slack. I need this. The reason I'm willing to burn these calories trying to do this is this is a heap of firewood. If you put out big effort, you need big reward. Maybe I won't be freezing my ass off tonight now. We got firewood. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Partner's got to burn some calories. And hopefully, Chetner and Sandy important to me busting my ass. I need to move double time what? and drag a very heavy log back. Okay. It's really, it is. It's a fireman's carry. All right. I'm going to try him. Oh. Okay. Hang on a minute. Ready? Oh. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. I can't build there. It's too heavy for me. I know you want this log really bad. I'm just, I'm not strong enough to do that. Anthony. You're blasting through the firewood. What's that? You're blasting through the firewood. That's not, OK, so, so right. it's, it's hard for me to get it through firewood too fast. Right, um, you know what? During the day, it was kind of day. I'm just saying. Really? Yeah. So far. But you can't get mad at me. I, 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 I can because right now we're we're in this place where I'm so frustrated. I know I'm hungry. I know I'm grumpy. I know I'm tired. I know. I'm, I, I know, I'm, but I can't but, be the only one getting firewood. But, you only carry so much. I'm sorry that you're this upset, but it's not like I've just been running around. I'm not saying it's what it is. Okay. My heart seems to be very regular now. I'm gonna pass out. Stay there. No, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. No, 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 no. We're not gonna have you pass out because you're gonna land on rocks. Lay down. Here, lay down. Wow. Anthony. Anthony's having an irregular heartbeat and he's not talking very much now. Hurry. Don't move. Oh. Oh. After days of working in the oppressive heat with limited water, Anthony suffers from a second degree sunburn and is so severely dehydrated the medics cannot get an IV into his collapsing veins. He is evacuated to the nearest hospital for treatment. I'm really sad that Anthony left because I was hoping to have a partner to share some of these trials together, to be able to share that with somebody. I was I was really looking forward to that. So it's too dark for me to see. And I keep hearing noises. And I know that's not that far from me, and I don't know what it is. Oh, I certainly felt alone last night, and it was scary, too. Now, I don't have a partner. I'm the only one out here, and food is my top priority, um, in particular protein. If I want to eat, I have to figure it out myself. I see protein. There's a wasp nest with, of course, wasp on it. Got to get the larvae. Yep, this is it. The nest is down. They didn't go to the nest. They kind of went right back to where the nest was and kind of made a big ball. Oh. oh. I have a wasp nest. And no stings. That was epic. I didn't have anybody helping. Like, I did it. And now I'm going to eat him.
This morning, I finished my fish basket. Protein is vital to me. Really want to get a fish. I can taste fish. Hope it works. We'll see. There's a fish in here. How awesome is that? Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. I could cry. Died in here. I don't believe that. Smelling pretty ripe. Not a good sign. I am not going to be able to eat this fish. She's a crying shame. Yeah. I know I haven't had the nourishment that I need. And um, I purposely studied about starvation so that I could understand what my body would go through. It's not the same as feeling it. It's different when you're here. I don't know if I'm strong enough to make it through the challenge. I am so happy right now. Oh. Yeah. Um, this part of my lip and at part of my tongue kind of numb. No, 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 no. Please do not tell me I just got poisoned. This is a poisonous toad. I could have been really, really ill because I killed something that I wanted for protein. I hope that's not a rock. You know what? I think that's a stingray. Okay. That could be dinner. I gotta get that. Hiding in the shallows, stingrays defend themselves using a venomous serrated tail. It can slice through flesh in seconds, causing excruciating pain. Oh, I hope I got it. Oh my god, I think I got it. She's huge. I gotta kill him. I'm sorry. <laughs> the edges are done. My mouth is watering. <laughs> and I don't have a fork or knife, so I'm just digging in. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. I couldn't even describe how good this is. This huge chunk of protein is just going to make a huge difference for extraction. Early morning, day 21. Time to get through extraction. Ooh, goodness. where that mountain keeps moving. Oh, don't circle for me. I'm not dead. Eat thorns, eat thorns, palm. And it's dirt road. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I did it. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. It took everything I had physically, <gasps> mentally, and emotionally to do this. Oh my God. I wanted to see how hard can I push myself? <laughs> Would I get to a breaking point? But hey, I did it. And nobody can take this from me. That was awesome.